Hello, Taurus viewers. So last reading I did, I was getting that you guys had some kind of closure with the karmic. They were moving just very slowly, um, it, maybe ghosting you or just communicating here and there, but it's, it's not enough for you. And I think you know that now. Um, but I feel like you do have new love that's either just come in or coming in. There's some kind of deep telepathic connection here. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. And the cards might want to talk about love, finances, career. I, I I try to be unbiased. It's just whatever the cards want to say. So you're coming out of Nine of Swords energy. Four of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Ooh. So that's good. The Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands. I think the message here is to step out of your comfort zone and get your passion back. I feel like some of you need to do soul retrieval with an experienced shaman. Um, and there's a lot of car artists out there, so you really have to be careful and find the right person for that. But I just feel like there's a message here that it's like you're kind of running on empty I feel like there's a lot of like um just negative emotions and it's like there's there's no light without darkness darkness without light so it, it, it makes sense but there's something that's been holding you back that you have to kind of let go of now because it feels like nine of swords like you know like nightmares um insomnia anxieties uh you know and four of pentacles it's like holding on to something too tightly so it's almost like like you might be wrapping things up with the karmic and you're manifesting new love, but some part of you is afraid to leave your comfort zone. Some part of you is afraid to let go of the pain and let go of the past and let go of the things that you've been through. It's like some part of you defines yourself based on your traumas and the things that you've gone through in the past. And that's, there's no judgment there. Like a lot of us do it. A lot of people do. There's no judgment there. But it's just something that I feel that your spirit guides want to call to your attention is that you're more than your traumas. You're more, you're more than your past. And it doesn't mean that you can just sweep your traumas under the rug. Like they are a part of who you are. You know what I mean? But you can be happy too. It's basically saying like you also have an identity outside of that. It's, does that make sense? It's like, it's not, it's like you're more, yes, your traumas are a part of you, but they're only a part of you. They're, they're not, your, your past doesn't define you. You know what I mean? Some of you might have made, made mistakes in the past. Maybe you have guilt or regret or, or, um, you know, like, like the shame, like you feel like you've done it to yourself or some of you, but it's like, it's like saying, you know, let go of the past as much as you can let go of it. Like, yeah, it made you who you are today, but learn from it and keep growing and keep moving forward. Even though the trauma and the pain in the past is a part of you, it shouldn't be your primary focus. It shouldn't be, you know what I mean? Like, it's not everything. It's like, even if you have this history of bad relationships, you can still have a good relationship. Even if you have this, this history of doing this or that, like you can still make changes. The past doesn't you know what I mean? Like you don't have to be the same person you've been in the past. You can decide today that you want to be someone else or that you want to manifest a different type of person than you wanted in the past. For some of you, I almost feel like you're making um, changes, like your life is changing and it almost like scares you. Like maybe your personality is changing for some of you. Like you're maybe, maybe you're usually very logical and you're usually very, um, you know, maybe, maybe like, I, I mean, it could be anything, take it as it resonates, but it could be like, maybe you're very logical and you do things a certain way. And now you're more adventurous, you're more free spirited, you're more feisty, you're more impulsive. And it's kind of your spirit guides are kind of saying, just go with it. Like, just go with the flow. Don't try to fight so hard because it, it's like, you're being pushed out of a stagnant energy is basically what I feel from this spread right here. Um, it's like you're it's like you're just holding on tightly to something that's could be a relationship that's over. It could also just be, like I said, pain and trauma and anxieties from the past. Like maybe you, you need to find out who you are outside of those things, even though they're a part of you. They are part of your story. They made you the strong person that you are today. 
it doesn't mean that they need to dictate your future. You know what I mean? Like you can still heal from those things and you can still find yourself and be the person that you want to be. And like I said, for some of you, it's like you're changing, you're becoming the high priestess or, or priest or, you know, whatever you're becoming this intuitive, empathetic person. And some of you are trying to hold on to your comfort zone. Some of you are trying to go back to what's comfortable and familiar and stable. Like maybe some of you are in a nine to five job and you're being intuitively led to, you know, study, to go down an intuitive path, to open your own business, to, to explore psychic work, a uh, healing work, energy work, that kind of thing. And, you know, look at this energy. It's like Alice in Wonderland energy. It's like, it's weird. It's fun. It's creative. It's like, just be your true self, live your best life, do what's right for you. No one else needs to understand it, but you, your path could also involve working with animals here. But like, look at her, like, look at this, him or her, there's the moon here, the cake, but look at how like creative and artistic and fun this is. It's like your spirit guides kind of want to see you in this energy. They want to see you being the high priestess. They want to see you just living your best life and dressing the way you want to dress and saying the things that you want to say and doing the things you want to do, traveling the places you want to travel to. You know what I mean? They want to see you just living your life for, for you, for doing what's best for yourself, doing what feels right, what resonates for you on a soul level. Um, because I feel like some of you have been going in circles. Some of you have been holding on to the past. And like I said, some of you are changing too. Like maybe you're used to being more logical and you're being pushed to start your own business or to study psychic work or, um, or healing work or, you know, something, something like with, with music, creativity, with the arts. And some of you are not used to that. Some of you are trying to, to go back and fit into this little, this turtle shell that just, you've outgrown it. You've, you've outgrown these people. You've outgrown these You've outgrown this dead end job. You've outgrown these old people from the past. You've outgrown these old relationships. You've outgrown these um, these ways of thinking and being and feeling. You're you're a new person. You're becoming a new person. You're becoming the person that you want to be. And I, I get that it's scary, but you know your spirit guides are really saying like just be be what you want to be. Do what you want to do. This is this is your life. No one else's. It doesn't matter what your family, your friends or anyone else thinks like the right people are going to love you for you. And the right people are going to resonate with who you are on a soul level. So it means like, wear the corset dress, the right person's going to resonate with that. The, the your soulmates, your soul tribe is going to resonate with this weird, creative, fun, adventurous, fiery, passionate, outspoken and outspoken energy. You know what I mean? Like your, your, your people are going to resonate with you, with you being your true self. So screw what your family or friends or whoever else thinks like, this is your life. This is, you know what I mean? Like the right people are going to accept you just as you are. It's not going to be too much for the wrong people for the, it's not going to be too much for the right people. You'll be too much for the wrong people, for people that need to fall out of your life. Yeah, you'll be too outspoken, too weird, too creative, too this, too that for the wrong people. Let them fall out of your life. The right people are going to love this. They're going to they're going to resonate with this energy. They're going to be artistic and passionate and, you know, unconventional, just like you. They're going to resonate with that energy. So there's just kind of a message here that some of you guys are changing, but you're trying to step back into your comfort zone because maybe people are judging you or people are you know, people might be judging you. People might be, um, maybe your family, friends, they're like, why, why are you changing? Why are you acting like this? You never used to be like that. You never used to say those things. You never used to, um, you never used to travel. Why are you traveling now? You never used, you know, like you never used to be so outspoken. Like when did, when did that happen? It's like, well, be committed to who you want to be, to who you're becoming, you know, put that person first above all else here. Um, cause like I said, if your family and friends aren't accepting who you really are, then they're eh, sometimes, sometimes your family is not blood. You have to remember that, but, um, but don't hold on to your comfort zone is the main message I'm getting from this spread here. It's like I said, some of you are trying to go back to that energy and it's like that energy. It's like you're, you're outgrowing these people. You could be outgrowing family members, friends, exes, old jobs, old old mentalities, even like the way you used to think, the way you used to feel, the way you used to communicate and relate to the world is changing. All of that is changing and you're becoming the high priestess or the high priest. So it's just kind of a message here. Like don't try to go back to the past because it's, it doesn't fit anymore. You can't go back to being the person you used to be. You're not that person anymore. You know what I mean? Like you can't go back to communicating the way you used to communicate with people. It's, it's not who you are anymore. It doesn't, the puzzle pieces don't fit anymore. 
And so you got to be willing to let go of these people that are that you've outgrown to these situations, these jobs or whatever it is that you're outgrowing, let it go, let it let it fade away. Let your spirit guides bring in this your soul family, your your true love, your your entrepreneurship or creative path or whatever, you know, or whatever it is you want to do in life. You know what I mean? Conventional or unconventional, it doesn't matter. It's just you know, let your, just get into this, this energy here, this high priestess, three of cups energy, just, just fun adventure, excitement, um, knight of wands, passion, just fiery energy. So we might have some fire sign in your chart too, but it's like, it's saying here, just, you know, let things flow. Let what wants to leave, leave. Let what wants to come, come. But don't try to go back to being the person you used to be. Don't try to fit yourself into old stagnant situations, old stagnant jobs, old stagnant relationships. Just, just don't go back to that. Keep going forward. Keep letting these things go. Keep letting these things fall out. Don't go back to stagnant energy. Don't go back to being the way that you used to be. Don't go back to, to things that have... It's like watering dead plants. Don't water dead plants anymore. You know what I mean? These situations are, are ending so that you can be the high priestess and manifest the kind of life that you deserve and the kind of life that you've been asking for. 11, 11 or 11 minutes, 11 seconds in, as I said that. You might need to do some healing, some resting. You might even need to cut some people out and that might hurt, but you will get through it and you're going to be able to be, and you, you know intuitively this is for you. Like it wouldn't feel wrong to you. You would know you would know that it's time. Your intuition would have been pressing, you know, telling you it's time for this. Um, Knight of Wands, it's like passionate, fiery, courageous energy, like living your best life. Um, you know, do what's right for you. This is your life, no one else's, you know? And your spirit guides are here with you, leading you through it too. You know, you have a destiny here. What else do you guys need to know about this? Eight of Pentacles, yeah, studying, knowledge, New things, even studying secretively, possibly for some of you. Page of Wands, reversed, Ace of Swords. I feel like some of you have been doing something in secret. So some of you are like, this is probably just for like a couple people. Some of you are like witches in secret. Like you don't tell your friends or family or like, like you're just not, you haven't been afforded about something and you're going to be like, there's going to be like truth communication. Either they're going to find out or you're just going to tell them. You're going to get to that point where you're like, you know what? I'm a witch. This is who I am. You can accept it or I can move on, but I'm done hiding who I am for you. Or some of you might like live in like maybe have like conservative families and maybe you're bisexual or transgender or your um your political views are different, something of that sort where and you're you're going to get to that point where you're just going to commit to your truth above all else and it's beautiful. You're just going to be like this is who I am. Take it or leave it. You're not even going to hide anymore. You're not going to care. You're not going to you know, shrink yourself down and try to make yourself small and make yourself invisible to, to appease these people. You're just going to be like, this is who I am. Look at how powerful here she is. Ace of swords. Like this is clarity, communication, truth, justice. Like you're like, this is me. This is what I want. This is what I'm committing to. Some of you have been wanting to go down a path, like open your own shop or do something creative or unconventional. And people around you have been kind of, you know, telling you it's not logical or telling you you need a nine to five job or you need to be this, you need to do that. And you're, you're just done with people telling you how to be and you're going to be committed to this eight of pentacles energy, you know, studying knowledge, just doing what's right for you. And this is, you know, this is your reading or it isn't like I, I, you know, as psychics, we honestly do get kind of tired of people commenting and be like, oh, none of this resonated. Like if it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. You know what I mean? Like this is a specific energy group and these are specific people that this message needs to get to. So if it's not your reading, I'm sorry. Like maybe the next reading will be for you, but you know, don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. You know what I mean? Like don't try to make it fit. You'll know if this is your reading intuitively. And if this is your reading and you'd like a private reading, or even if it's not your reading and you just want a private reading, um, my email is below, right in the description box. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. You could just copy and paste it from the description box below. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And please subscribe if it resonates too. Yeah, it's like you're becoming the queen of swords. It's like you're, or the queen of wands, sorry. King or queen of wands, like passion, fiery energy, just charisma, like leadership, just 
You're t- it's, you're a leader. You're a natural leader. It's time for you to be a leader. It's time for you to do what's right for you. It's time for you to put yourself first, finally. The nostalgia might hurt. You might go through a phase, but it, it might be time to cut some people out and just live your best life, honestly. Don't let people hold you back. Don't let old situations hold you back. And you got Ten of Pentacles. People, whatever this, so for some of you, this is like a specific message for a couple of you too. I'm getting with this Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, like you have like business ideas and your family or your friends are like, oh, that's not going to work. Like that's your, but it's like, no, actually I see you making money from it because it's your, it's your life path. It's your destiny. And intuitively, you know that. So some of you need to like stand up to family and friends, honestly. Yeah. It's going to be heartbreaking and it's going to be hard, but you know what? Like you're, you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be more stable. You're going to be more consistent because you're not going to be going back and forth between who you really are and who the world wants you to be and who people want you to be. You're going to be just committed to who you are. So even though it might hurt at first, you're going to be more consistent and more stable because you're not having these two conflicting energies in your energy field. You know what I mean? Like you're not having, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're able to commit to what you want and who you want to be and what you want to do in life. And eventually you got your king or queen of cups coming in too. Page of cups. Yeah, love offer, queen of pentacles. So whatever, and this could be male, male, and female, female as well. You know, it's, there's, there's no gender here. It's just energies. But, you know, either you're the king of cups and you're in this masculine energy and your person's the queen of pentacles or vice versa. A lot of you are the queen of pentacles and you're manifesting a king of cups. But this is a really good couple. This is like, this is, um, this is a man that's mature, that's honest, that's, that's loving, that's, um, emotionally available, open, honest, mature, just very mature, very good energy here. And this could be a woman in this energy too, male or female, it doesn't matter. And then we have a queen of pentacles. So male or female in this energy, either way, but it's someone who is, um, like, look at her. She's, She's got the key. Like you have the key in your hand and you just haven't realized it. And now you're waking up and you're like, wait a minute. It's like the end of Labyrinth where she's like, wait a minute, you have no power over me. Like, and she just sets herself free. She's like, I'm done. Bye, David Bowie. I'm out. Like, it's just like that. Like, you're just going to wake up. You're going to have like a dream or something and you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, oh, damn. Like, I, I hold the key here. Like, I'm like they don't have these people don't have the power you think that they do you're giving them power you're giving you know what I mean it's time to kind of stop caring about what people think honestly but I see you being a successful with what you do whether it's opening your own business or it's just going down the path that you want to go down it's like let's say that you want to make music it's like okay maybe you're not going to be a millionaire making music but you know what like your songs need to, to get out there. People need to hear your songs. People need to see your writing. People need to see your art. People need to, to see that emotion, that passion that you have, this, this creative talent that you have that's just been suppressed. Like People need to see it. People are going to resonate with it. It's going to help other people heal from what they're going through. It's really important. So you're going to be in this Queen of Pentacles energy, King or Queen of Pentacles energy, where it's like you're successful, you're stable, you're... Um, you know, you have abundance, you have good karma, you have good rewards, and you have this love offer, page of cups. I feel like this person is going to come around too after you um, let go of the old situations. I feel like there's a lot of old energy that you need to clear up now. And I think that intuitively, you know this, some of you are still holding on to your comfort zone, but it's time to let go of that comfort zone because you're just kind of going in circles. And it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone and go down your own path, even if it does mean being alone for a while. It's like it's time for you to be true to yourself. It's like you're trying to make these old relationships that just don't fit right with you anymore work. Like you're like you're 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 feeling the red flags with these people, but like family, friends, exes, whatever. And it's like part of you just wants to hold on out of familiarity, out of loneliness. And it's like, it doesn't work anymore though. It's, it's like, you're not communicating right with each other. You're not, you're not resonating right with each other. They're like, they're, they're the complete opposite of you, but in negative ways. It's not like it's when, when, when someone's different than you, but they like you, their, their differences complement yours. That, that makes one, that's one thing, but it's like, it's almost like you're super liberal and they're super conservative or, or you're just that kind of energy. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't know for sure that that specific thing, but it's like, it's that energy where you guys are just, you know, 
political, um, you know, sexual orientation, uh, mentality, creative differences, uh, how you see the world, just whatever. It's like, you guys are just, you don't mesh. You don't, it, it's like, it doesn't fit. They're, they're not your people and you're not their person either. And you know that intuitively and you know that it's time to branch out and go down your own path even if it's scary. And so it's kind of saying like, it's time for that. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, you might be alone at first because you're going to be healing. You're going to be clearing up this old energy. You're going to be cutting it, cutting these people out. You're going to be putting yourself first finally and doing what's best for you. And you're going to learn to kind of control, like have like this balance with your empathy so that people can't get in the best of you. Cause I feel like in the past people get in your head too much so it's really a beautiful energy that you're you're not letting people get in your head anymore. You know, you're being your true self here. And once you start committing to being your true self, so like I said, like wear wear the corset dress, wear the, you know, go to the goth clubs if you're goth. Be bisexual, be gay, be lesbian or you know whatever you are, be be as liberal or, you know, conservative or whatever as you want to be. It's like, be, um, just be your true self. Like go, it's like, you're becoming a different person, you know, let yourself become this passionate, creative, free spirited, adventurous, feisty person that you've, that you are, that your soul is that you want to be. And when you, when you do that, when you let go of the old situations and you let go of the stagnant energy, you free, you clear up those blocks and it allows your true love to come in. Because if you're trying to blend in with society and with, with family, with friends that aren't fitting, it's like you might meet your true love and they're going to think you're, they're going to see you like in that energy with them. They're going to think that you're just like them. They're not going to, you know what I mean? Like they're not going to recognize you because your energy is so, it's like these people have been dimming your light almost. And so your soulmate can't recognize your light because it's like, you're always you're, you're around these, it's like, I don't know what it is. It could be a mentality. It might not be people. It might just be like a mentality that keeps repeating, but it's like this old, it's like a merry-go-round, like these old toxic cycles that it's time to clear up. It's way past time to clear it up and be adventurous, be fun, be free spirited, travel, live your best life, open that business, like do that. It's time. It's time to do the things that you were meant to do on this earth. It's, it's, it's your time finally to live your best life and do what's right for you. Do what calls to you. You know what I mean? Don't even ask me what that is because it's, you know, you know, you got to listen to yourself. You're always listening to other people. It's always like society or, or friends or, you know, other people's opinions. No, listen to yourself. Some of the best art, like if you look up artwork, like look up, if you have some free time, look at different types of artwork look at like, um, like freestyle paintings, but it's not like art is so many different things, but it's like, like, look at some of the weird things that people make on Etsy. It's like, no one told them how to do that. Like, look at like the little, what are they called? The, 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 the oh, I don't know how they're, what they're called. They're these little like weird alien animal things that this person makes. And it's like, there was no instruction manual on how to make that. That person probably just did hours and hours of experimenting and, you know, months later, eventually created this perfect little creature and now they they sell and they're popular and this person's successful it's like that kind of energy where it's like you know just just get some paint and or get you know some jewelry supplies or whatever go to go to michael's go to a hobby store and just have fun with it you're not going to get good at it overnight it might take a while it might take months or whatever but just just start just take that first step you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take that first step. It's, it's time. It's, it's beyond time for this. You know what I mean? Like go out and do it, do it today. <laughs> like the, it's your time. It really is. And it, it's like, you know, like I said, with artists, it's like it art is subjective. It's creative. It's not meant to be like other people's art. It's like, just, just experiment. You might make something weird and creative and unique that no one else has made before. And it might take off, you know, it's like, just listen to your own intuition and your own opinions and, and stop listening so much to other people, you know, listen to yourself now, just experiment and have fun. Even if it doesn't look good at first, it might look like a complete mess at first. It probably will. Art usually does, but practice, experiment, try new things, try things that no one else is trying. And, and you're going to get to that point where, you know, it's, it's, you might be bringing something into the world, like a, like an invention or something or something artistic that no one else is doing. You know what I mean? That's why it's like you need to kind of isolate and be in this hermit energy to some degree 
so you can listen to these creative channeled ideas and and run with them you know what I mean like write them down um keep a journal of them like you know there's a trial and error process too of course like but try different things experiment and eventually you're going to get there I feel and and when you do that's when your soulmate I feel is going to come in because they're going to recognize that energy they're going to be like this person like this person's dressed like me or this person like they have like you're going to be in your true soul energy and they're going to resonate with that and just be drawn to you right away and it's going to be like a love at first sight kind of scenario is what I feel so anyway I hope that makes sense if that resonates um please subscribe any donations are appreciated my donation links are below and my email is also below if you would like a private reading just check the description box thank you guys for watching